Hi there. I was born in Poole, Dorset, in 1937. The close proximity of Poole Harbour and the wonderful beaches at Sandbanks clearly influenced my choice of career. I joined the Royal Navy in 1954, keeping a promise I made to my mother, who died just days before my 15th birthday. During the next 30 years, I visited most places in the world, serving on a variety of ships from frigates to aircraft carriers and achieving promotion through the ranks from junior stores assistant to lieutenant commander. At the time, it didn't seem out of the ordinary, but looking back over the past 60 years, I had a pretty exciting and adventurous life, which I'm delighted to share with you today. Highlights include service in the Light Fleet Carrier HMS Warrior, from which I witnessed three hydrogen bomb tests in the Pacific. This tour also included a visit to Pitcairn Island, the home of the Bounty Mutineers. In 1960, I joined the Royal Yacht Britannia, a world unlike any other in the Royal Navy. I served nearly four years in the Royal Yacht, which took me all round the world. Let me tell you what life was like in this beautiful ship. Life at sea in Nelson's Navy was quite different, which I cover in my talk entitled A Hard Day's Work, a short account of the events leading up to the Battle of Trafalgar and Nelson's untimely death. I had my own experience of war during service in the Far East, being awarded the General Service Medal Malaysia and North Borneo during the 60s. I served with the Prince of Wales while Captain Secretary on HMS Hermes and finally as Supply Officer of Naval Party 2010 embarked an MVS Stenner Inspector for the Falklands War, officially known as Operation Corporate. I retired from the Elizabethan Navy in 1983 and entered the Tudor Navy when I joined the Mary Rose Trust as an accountant, becoming the Finance Director. Here, I managed a team of lecturers giving talks about this remarkable warship and raising funds. Not surprisingly, this is where I started my lecturing experience, and over the years, the range of subjects has expanded to include those relating to my naval career, family history, and many others. I retired in 1994, but was persuaded to return to work launching the Royal Armouries Museum of Artillery in 1995. Since 1997, I have been leading an active retirement, cultivating my allotment, researching my family history, and giving lectures about my interests and experiences. I have lectured extensively as a guest speaker on cruise ships, including Cunard, p &O, Fred Olson, and Saga, amongst many others, and can be found in many community centres and village halls in Hampshire, talking to the local WI, Probus Club or U3A on an almost weekly basis. I do hope you will enjoy these talks as much as I do, presenting them to you. Thank you.